Hi Cornerstone, this is Mondi Singh. I'm an intern this fall. Um, and today I just want to share a verse that brings me a lot of inspiration and just excitement. But that's Ephesians 3 and it's verses 20 to 21. It says, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. And I love this verse and I'm always brought back to it because I found that I can get uh, pretty easily overwhelmed, whether it's just looking at my week and looking at everything I um, have going on or looking at the long to-do list of things I need to get done or even when it comes to thinking just about my future goals and my future visions of where I want to be, um, sometimes it can seem a little hopeless, a little like I don't know what decisions to make. I don't know, you know, how to even start some of these things. A lot of those dreams and visions can seem just so big. And it's like, how am I ever going to get there? But then I'm brought back to this verse. And in Ephesians 3.20, how it just talks about God's omnipotence. Like, he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think. So not even the things that I, that I say verbally, but even the things that I'm thinking, those big dreams and goals, even just the mundane things of what I have to get done in a week, God can do above all of that. He can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all of those things. And not only that, but the next phrase, according to the power that works in us, that blows me away. That, that omnipotence that God has is the power that's active within us. And... I feel like I forget that. I feel like sometimes I can kind of diminish the the power of the Holy Spirit that's within me. Um, Dare I say forget that that power is at work inside of me. But coming back to a verse like this and just meditating on how God is truly able to do anything and everything, it really humbles me and, and reminds me that I'm only seeing a corner of the picture. I'm only seeing that tiny pigeonholed view of this big masterpiece that God has in mind. So I just want to share this with you. I hope it's also encouraging um, and that you just have a great week thinking about how God is so powerful and has big visions and dreams for us. Thanks.